Need some help? No. I've already called someone. I fixed engines in the military. Jeeps and tanks mostly, but, uh, you know, I know my way around. <laughs> Just trying to help. I think I can fix this. Or I can keep walking. I'll pay you if you fix it. Otherwise, I'll be standing here all night. No problem. I'm David Walker, by the way. I'll get started. I think that should do it. Try starting her up. Go straight to the airport, so... I should take a look at my dossier on the canopic chest and review my notes. If I'm going out on the streets, I suppose I should take this with me. It's a stock photograph blown up and printed at a local print shop, and badly framed. I could use some sleep, but I should look around the neighborhood and try to learn something about Masri before our meeting tomorrow. The hotel is thoughtfully provided for pillows. In case I want to smother myself in the middle of the night. I don't have a reason to carry around a wire hanger at the moment. Here's a general rule. Nothing valuable ever comes in wicker. public trash can. 
There's nothing I need in that trash can. The Seven Wonders Hotel. The first wonder is that anyone stays here. I wonder how long that car has been sitting there. Since the Nixon administration, perhaps. I don't have a need for motor oil at the moment. Magnificent Cairo. What a fascinating city. Of course, the best parts of it are over there, and I'm over here. I don't need to go in there. Lady of the Dunes. That's a bit ambitious. It's a dumpster for trash. I can't reach it. That building is a fire escape. That building is a fire escape. I don't have a reason to do anything. God knows what tobacco mix is in that hookah. If it even is tobacco. I'll refrain. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Rector. Mind if I join you? Yeah, sure. Sit down. I'm Hasim. This is Sa. What do you need? Are you from around here? Oh yeah, I know Cairo real good. You looking for a tour guide, maybe? I can show you whatever you like. Good places to get laid, know what I mean? What do you like, Mr. Rector? Women? Men? Boys? That's not what I'm after. But thanks for the lesson in class. What? Oh yeah, no problem. Do you know Mr. Yusuf Masri? He owns a shop down the street. Yeah, I know Mr. Masri. I know him very well. I know a lot of people. Oh? What can you tell me about Masri? The thing is, I don't know you. Know what I mean? You know what they say about talking to strangers. I must be going. A pleasure talking with you. Yeah, sure. That little air vent must be overworked trying to cool this entire place. I don't see any way to alter the air vent from in here. Good evening. Welcome to the Lady of the Dunes, sir. What can I do for you? Is this your establishment? Yes, sir. For many years. You must know the neighborhood well, then. Yes, sir. Do you know Mr. Yusef Masri? He owns a shop down the street. I know him. What can you tell me about him? Nothing. It's better to stay clear of offending that man. But talk to those two over there in the corner. Hasim knows him well. Thanks for the tip. Yes, sir.
I wonder what it would take for me to lose my stranger status with... I wonder what it would take for me... It's closed for the evening. That's Mr. Mosry's shop. Not exactly high-end. I need to learn more about Mosry before our meeting tomorrow, so I can anticipate how much trouble is going to be. I don't have a reason. I wonder what it would take for me to lose my stranger status with Haseem. I have a feeling it will involve money, if not humiliation. Is my aim off? There's something I'm not accounting for. It's a well used dartboard. Hmm. It's a little chilly standing right here. Good evening. Welcome to... I noticed the dartboard. Popular game in here? For those who can pay. Be careful playing Haseem, sir. He's been playing here for 20 years. He knows all the tricks. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip. Yes, sir. Hasim, sir. Hey, sit down, Mr. Rector. Do you play darts? Only a little. Want to play a friendly game? It's 50 bucks a game, US. I win, you pay me. You win, I pay you. What do you say? I'll play. Good, very good. Yalla. I win! Yes, you did. Here. I'll be here any time you want to play again. Why is my aim off? There's something I'm not accounting for.
that air vent goes into the bar. reach it. That light is casting a shadow on this wall. It's too dark to see it. That didn't work. I fixed the wires. That padlock is old and rusty. It wouldn't be hard to break it. That would draw a little too much attention, I think. too rusted, it won't move. There's a bit of oil still in it. I might be able to use that. Rusted, it won't move. That should help. It's starting to move.
There, I can f It appears to be the on-off switch for the air vent. Hasim, Sa. Hey, sit down, Mr. Rector. How about a rematch on darts? Good, very good. Yalla. Looks like I won. Goddamn mother! What is wrong with me tonight? I don't suppose there's something else I could do for you? Man, I hate to part with cold hard cash, you know what I mean? Is there something else? A man in a foreign country, there's all sorts of stuff you need. Information. Sure, sure. I know everything. Just ask. Asim, Sa. Hey, sit down, Mr. Rector. Tell me about Yusuf Masri. You want to know what I know about Masri? Two words. Be careful. He's a dangerous man. Know what I mean? He puts you in the ground as soon as look at you. So don't piss him off. Not if you're smart. That's good to know. Is there anything else I should know about Yusuf Masri? If he goes for his top desk drawer, watch out. He keeps a gun in there. Hey, you know what? You need some muscle when you go see a man like that. Me and Sa, we could help you out. We'll do it for a thousand bucks. Better poor than dead. Know what I mean? That's very generous of you, but I think I'll pass. It's your neck. Hey, there's a crematorium a few blocks away in case you need it. Crematorium? That's funny. <laughs> I must be going. A pleasure talking with you. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a fight. It's coming from the alley. To get closer. I can't trust my aim.
It's you? And to think, I could have spent the night on a quiet road in the desert. Perfect. That's just what I need. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't leave him here. I can't believe I'm doing this. I suppose I should try to learn something about this man while he's unconscious. His dog tags read Captain David Walker. If I'm not mistaken, black tags are used by special forces. There's a card in his pocket. It's for a local hostel. Hmm. I wonder if he has a middle name. Greetings, sir. Would you like a room? No. I just thought I'd look around. I'm sorry, but you can't enter unless you're staying here. I need to see a registration card. She's young and formidable. Here's my registration card. Go on through. Have a nice evening. the light switch wouldn't work. What was I thinking? It's too high, even for me. I can't see a thing. And I thought my hotel room was bad. I certainly know how to pack the bodies in here. This must be a slow time of year. It looks like David Walker is the only one staying in this room. That's quite a knife. Little good it did him tonight, sitting in his backpack. I suppose it would be rude of me to take it. Besides, I'd probably hurt myself. A small grappling hook. I wonder what he uses it for. I don't need to take that hook. Walker's passport. David Livingston Walker. He's from Indiana. He certainly looks the part of a hero, but you can never tell.
a small grappling hook. I don't need to take that hook. You're awake. Where am I? My hotel room. Did you at least buy me dinner first? If anyone owes anyone dinner, it would be you, since I saved your ass in that alleyway. Right. It's all coming back to me now. Why did you? No idea. I don't normally... Well, one good deed and all that. Are you quite unbroken? If you mean from the fight just now, yeah. If you mean as a human being... I didn't. Right. Who were those men, and why did they attack you? I don't know. I don't know who they were. I was just walking around the city. I mean, I'm obviously American. They could have been attempting to take me hostage. With a noose? You don't believe that. No, I don't. Where are you from? Indiana, USA. Been a long time since I've lived there, though. You? I live in New York. Uh, you don't sound entirely American. No. You backpacked into Cairo. What are you doing in Egypt? I'm just a tourist. I'd like to see as much of the world as I can before it's completely gone to shit. And you? Work. Ah. You weren't a military mechanic. I was trained to repair engines. But that wasn't my primary function, no. Army Ranger? Navy SEAL? U.S. Army Special Forces. Green Beret. They rarely travel alone. I am no longer in the military. I'm on my own. So, Uncle Sam isn't feeding you. What do you do for money? I do odd jobs here and there. I rarely stop moving for long, though. Have you ever done security work? Bodyguard, that sort of thing? In the military, we secured a lot of things. I'd like to hire you for a security job, if you're interested. That depends on what I'd be securing. I need to see a man here in Cairo. He's unsavory. Chances are good I'm going to disappoint him. I could use backup. You saw those guys beat the shit out of me and you want to hire me for security? You put up a good fight. To a point. Yeah, well, that's the point that matters. What are you seeing the man for? What's your business? I appraise antiques. Oh, I had no idea the antiques business was dangerous. When there are millions of dollars involved, it's always dangerous. It's just this one job. I'll pay you 1,000 US. I'll do it, but you don't have to pay me. I owe you. No, you do not owe me. I'll pay. All right. Mr. Rector. I'll take the job, Mr. Rector, sir. I should warn you. Someone told me today that the man I'm going to see, Mr. Masri, keeps a gun in his desk drawer. Good to know. I'll keep my eye on him. We both should get some sleep before tomorrow. Meet me outside the hotel at 8 a.m. All right, Mr. Rector. I'll be there. Good night. It's getting late. Better get to bed. I have that meeting with Masri first thing in the morning. I don't have time. Good morning, Mr. Rector. Mr. Walker? I'm ready when you are. This is it. Ready? Lead on, Macduff. Welcome. You must be Mr. Rector. I am Yusef Masri. Greetings, Mr. Masri. This is my associate, Mr. Walker. Sir? I assure you, it was not necessary to bring a bodyguard. That's my prerogative. I see you have the chest all set up for me. Whenever you are ready, Mr. Rector. I'm sure you will find the chest is exactly as I described it. It's a serviceable desk, nothing special.
The canopic chest is genuine. It was created during Egypt's 18th dynasty, approximately 1323 BC. You see? What did I tell you? However, it is not, as claimed, a chest similar to Tutankhamun's chest. It is, in fact, Tutankhamun's canopic chest, which was stolen from the Cairo Museum in 1992. That's not true! The thieves tried to disguise the chest by adding the Horemhab cartouche to the side and staining the headdresses on the jar stoppers. For this defacing of a priceless and irreplaceable artifact, Mr. Masri and his accomplice Samuel Lessing should be taken out and summarily shot. Of course, that's just my recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Rector. I'll notify the Cairo authorities. You are mistaken, Mr. Rector. I have paperwork that proves it. You do not want to fuck with Mr. Rector. Uh, good. Very good. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Get out! Gladly. Enjoy your prison term. Let's go, Mr. Walker. Holy shit, Rector. You tore that guy a new one. You do know how completely infuriating you are, right? I didn't hire you to critique my methods, as if you could. Hey, I'm complimenting you. That was awesomely badass. How do you know all that stuff? And oh god, the look on his face. I've never seen anyone turn green before, but he was, honest to god, the color of asparagus. Overcooked asparagus. Canned. The chest was stolen from the Cairo Museum in 1992. The thieves tried to disguise it by staining the headdresses, for which they should be summarily shot. Jesus, his face just kept falling and falling. Not that one. Those were the same guys who attacked me last night. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell they want with me. to get out of here. I don't want to spend the next six months in lockup in Cairo. Right. I guess we should split here. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Rector. Good luck. Wait. <laughs>